Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle and today is an exciting day. We have a brand new collaboration with Beauty Bay. I'm so excited to play around with this palette. <laughs> Obviously, I already have. Please don't look, okay? No sneak peeks, just ignore my eyelids right now. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be doing my first impressions on the brand new Beauty Bay X Nikki Tutorials palette. I did sign up for the waiting list for this so I could try and get it as soon as possible. I'm pretty sure it sold out almost instantly. I love the colours. I did watch her reveal video and a few of the colours spoke to me. Like this pale blue and the deep blue. Yeah, I just really wanted it so I bought it. Even though I know in my last video I said I was doing a no buy. Okay, don't judge me. <laughs> This looked like a really pretty palette and I really wanted it. So this was available on Beauty Bay only and it is £25. I don't know if it's going to come back. There might be a restock. I think they did say on Instagram that they are going to be restocking. But yeah, today I'm going to be testing it on my eyeballs and I'm going to show you how I did this look. But first of all, if you're just dropping by, this is the first video of mine that you're viewing. Welcome. I hope you decide to stick around. If you want to, you just need to hit the red button down below and the little bell button and that'll just notify you when I upload next. It's a nice little community here. People are nice, so if you're also nice, Feel free to join. <laughs> Everyone is welcome here. Um, but yeah, let's get into the exciting thing. So this is the outer packaging that it comes in. It's a sparkly black box. It's very pretty. And then it's got the lock looking in to a sneak peek of what the palette looks like. Got Nikki Tutorials X Beauty Bay and a little message on the back from Nikki. If you want to read the message, I'll put it on the screen. You guys can pause it and read it if you're interested. <laughs> Although this message is also on the physical palette as well. And then this is what the actual palette looks like. It is very pretty. I kind of wish it was all of this dark side. I'm not gonna lie because I don't know, it just speaks to me more than this bright side, but it's supposed to represent two halves of Nikki, I guess. This is a 20 pan pressed pigment eyeshadow palette. Pressed pigments are used to keep the formula vegan, typically, which I believe this is. Cruelty free, everything like that, beauty based shadows typically are. And the pressed pigments, if they're not deemed eye safe by the FDA, I think, and that's in America, I don't know about the UK. In all honesty, I don't know what the regulations are here, but it just means that some of the dyes and things like that can cause staining on the eye. So if you have very sensitive eyes or staining bothers you then please bear that in mind. We have eight shimmers and then 12 mattes in this eyeshadow palette. And this is what she looks like on the inside. She is beautiful. <laughs> inside and out. We have an array of different tones, brights, almost neon, some pastels, neutrals. There's all sorts going on in here. There's such a variety. When you open it up, there are two mirrors. One is magnified and one is a standard mirror. And they're kind of small little slithers on the side of the palette. Now I will admit, when I saw this on the release video, I was like, Ugh, I don't think I like the actual packaging of the palette like this, especially if it's anything like the Mitchell one because that palette is heavy. But this one actually, it's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. So actually holding the mirror, it's not that bad. And also the mirror size is actually quite decent. So I was pleasantly surprised with that. One quick thing I wanted to mention, I know it is discontinued, but the Mitchell palette, retailed for £30 and you've got quite a few more eyeshadows in this. I think this is, yes, yeah, 32 eyeshadows in this palette and this was £30 but Nikki's only has 20 and it's 25 I know this is like a small thing and they're both collabs with different people. I think this should have been like more like £20 in my humble opinion, just because it's a lot less shades and it's still a collaboration with an amazing makeup artist but it's just a lot less shade wise you know I just feel like 20 pounds would have been a little bit better but I still bought it so you know <laughs> clearly I don't mind that much I'm gonna be doing an eye look today this is the eye look I'm gonna be doing okay I'm gonna show you how it performed on my lids I also want to do a few other looks with this do some neutral some soft some bold because you really can do a lot with this palette which I'm grateful for I'm gonna be doing swatches on my arm for you guys so yeah without further ado Let's get into the swatches and then I'll show you guys how I did this eye look right here. I hope you guys enjoy. See you in a sec. All right, so let's get on to some swatches. I'll go row by row. The way I'm doing my swatches is I'm just doing two swirls in the pan and I'm not trying to make these look pretty. <laughs> so first we have the shade Redemption, Blend and Snap. 
ivy that like blends into my skin tone because I'm so pale. <laughs> Slasher. And then 5am. So that's the first row. Again, I'm not trying to make these swatches look good. This is just literally the way they appear on my arm. As you can see, this one's like a little bit crumbly and some of them don't swatch the best but but please remember the skin on my arm is not the same as what's on my eyes so <laughs> can't really go off these but it's just to show you the actual colors on my skin tone all right now on the second row we have roxy Catan. Ooh, whoa that feels so nice then we have vla <laughs> i think that's how you say it this one's super crumbly but quite pigmented to be fair for a yellow then we have the red which is called makai I think. I don't quite know. I know it's named after her brother, but it's supposed to be a true red, which to be fair, eh, it looks slightly pink toned, but that's not a bad thing. Then we have the shade Mila and Underground. Whoa, these shimmers are quite something. So that's the second row. Okay, now on to the third row. Now we have Plot Twist. This is obviously a very pastel shade. It's not going to show up that well on my arm. Then we've got Aura. Whoa. <laughs> These shimmers, man. They're nuts. I'm doing exactly the same thing. Same motion for every single shadow. I'm going one, two in each pan. And these are absolutely mental. <laughs> then we have the shade Basic Trut. I think <laughs> it's Dutch. I'm probably not saying it right. Obviously that's like basically my skin tone, slightly deeper, so you can't really see it. But it's just so you guys can see the actual colours against my skin. You know what, just to make sure that you can see it, I'm just going to do a one over with these shadows just because they are so light. That barely made a difference. <laughs> then we have the shade All In. Whoa, that is a stunning shade, oh my gosh. And then finally we have the shade Ew, which is the green. And that's the third row. That shade is beautiful. And then this is the final row. So we've got the shade Pride. Oh, so good. Zoma. Zoma. I, I don't know how to say it. Is that okay? I can't roll my R's. <laughs> then we have Mama Tutorials. Oh, these shimmers, man. And then finally we have Amsterdam and Mr. Tutorials. And that is the final row. Okay, so this is the first look we are creating. I just kind of went in <laughs> without thinking, just knowing the kind of colours that I wanted to use and I just started putting them on my eyes. So this is what I got and it's all matte, which is not usual for me. I'm probably gonna do like a bright inner corner and I'll use some of the shimmers in my other looks. So I've already primed my lid with the P. Louise base in Ruma 01. The first shade I'm going in with is Amsterdam and I'm gonna take it with a little dense brush and just kind of create the shape that I want on the outer corner. And I do this keeping my eyes open so I can create the shape and know what it's gonna look like when I relax. And then once I've got that shape going, I just fill in the outer corner. Okay, I'm just gonna start blending the edges slightly, ready for our next color. I'm going in with the shade called Ew. <laughs> Such a great name. So pigmented, just picks up on the brush like instantly. I'm gonna start pressing down the color just around the blue, slightly over top. Because I don't have the most amount of lid space, I do take the yellow like all the way up to my brow, but I don't have a problem in doing that. So I am taking this quite high. Now I originally went in with this big fluffy brush to blend over the top, so I'm gonna do the same, but I'd recommend a smaller brush. I'm going in with the shade Vla. I, th I think that's how you say it, the bright yellow. Just go over the green with the edges.
get rid of the harsh line, I went in with the same brush I used for the green and I just went into the yellow and then did some more intense blending, you know? <laughs> Although it's not the worst blender, and even just with the big brush, these are really easy to work with so far, with the colours that I've used anyway. I'm just gonna blend the blue a little bit more into the green. Just going in with a little bit of the shade Ew again and just lightly feathered over the edges. Okay, so I think I'm almost happy with that blend. <laughs> I might go back in a little bit, but let's just get into the inner corner. I went in with a shade called Slasher, which is like a very deep berry tone, and I just basically just kind of drew my cut crease, and then I decided I'll figure out the blend in later. <laughs> so I'm gonna quickly do that. <laughs> point out by the way these shadows do have a little bit of kick up in them they are a little bit dusty but nothing out of the ordinary in all honesty it's not like abh subculture status you know it's just a little bit in the pan that doesn't bother me but just in case it does bother anybody i'm now going in with the shade blend and snap which is the pink i'm gonna lightly dust over the edges I'm just gonna go back in with the slasher shade and just redefine the line a little bit. Okay, and then to kind of tie it together, I took the Vla shade again and I blended it over the pink. It does create a slight orange, but that's fine. It's just to kind of bring the colors slightly together because they don't really go that well. I was literally just playing around with this, so this is what I did. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to wipe off the lid and cut the crease. But trying to make my lids even is the bane of my life. <laughs> kind of given up. I might have to go in and redefine it because I've made this lid really high and <laughs> I didn't take the shadow high enough, so I'm probably gonna have to touch that up in a minute. But I'm just gonna go in with the P. Louise base in the white shade and I'm gonna cut the crease. I used the white because this is a pastel color, so I wanted to give it the best chance. I didn't want to sabotage it by putting on a normal base, so I'm just gonna quickly cut the crease. Now we're going to go in with one of the main shades that brought me into this palette and it's the shade Plot Twist and it's this beautiful pastel sky blue. I'm just going to pat this all the way over the white. It's so gorgeous, oh my gosh. Even slightly purpley, like it's almost like a periwinkle kind of blue. It's like verging on that kind of tone. I love it. I really want to do a look with that shade and the shade Zuma or Zoma. I don't know. I think it's Dutch, so it's probably Zoma. I 100% am not saying that right, but Zoma through the crease and then like plot twist, just like lightly dusted in the center with some shimmer would look insane. I think I'm gonna do that maybe on my Instagram. I don't know, unless you guys want me to do it here, let me know and I'll do it here. Don't really wanna use the same shades for my future looks if I can help it, but this is one of my favorite shades in the entire palette and it performs so nicely. I love it so much. Okay, now I'm going in with the shade Ew with a very light touch and I'm gonna start making the gradient that I've got going on in the lid. And I'm just tapping over the navy shade on the outer corner on a slight angle to get that diagonal gradient. Now I'm going in with the shade Vla and I'm gonna go over the green.
I was so surprised with the way that this layered over the top of the blue. It's so vibrant, you can still see that it's obviously yellow on my lid. These shadows, man. <laughs> Beauty Bay have like got this formula down. I'm gonna go back in with the shade Amsterdam and just blend it a little bit more into the green. Just going back in with AO2 further blend. I'm using very light tap emotions to make sure that it all blends because they are so pigmented. When you're layering over top of each other, they just wanna be in your face. <laughs> so using a very light hand with barely any pigment on the brush is the best way to blend them together. All right, and that is all I did for the lid. I'm gonna go away, do my base, and then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with the lower lash line, and then we'll come back and finish this look off. I actually really like the way this has turned out. I'm not certain about the inner corner bit. I kind of wish that I'd just done this blue to green yellow gradient all over, but I wanted to try more shades, so I tried. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I'll be right back and we'll finish off these eyes together. Okay, so I've done my base and I've finished up this eye. I went for a more pinky toned under eye to kind of bring in this part of the eye. And I finally used a shimmer from the palette. So first of all, I just went in with Amsterdam on the outer corner and I brought it in about a third of the way across the eye. And I married it up to the outer corner shadow here. Then I took the shade Slasher and brought that almost all the way across, leaving the inner third blank. Overlapping the Slasher shade a little bit more into the blue because I predominantly want it to be this colour. Then I'm picking up a slightest bit of the shade Ew and I'm just gonna blend the outer corner and just make it all merge together. Now I'm gonna take the big fluffy brush that I originally used for the yellow and I'm gonna use the same colour and I'm just gonna blend out this edge and make it all seamless together. I'm using a mixture between pattern motions and flick motions to really blend out the colour. To blend out the purple I'm going in with blend and snap again and I'm just going over the edges and just really blending it roughly. I'm not being too careful with this, I just want to blend out the colour. Okay so that's pretty much it for that. Now onto the shimmers. I decided to go in with the shade Pride and I've used use this dry it picks up pretty well on the brush that I'm using which is a little dense kind of pencil brush and I put that in the inner third of the eye this has such a pretty blue shift it has a pink base but a blue shift so it really ties in that pastel blue that we've used it's so gorgeous I love the shimmer I really want to use this just all over the lid it looks beautiful and then finally for the very inner corner I went in with ivy I think it is which is just the lighter shimmer in the palette and I'm just going right in on the inner corner I have a feeling I will have to wet this one because it's not really as vibrant as the pride shade it doesn't pick up on the brush as well either this would probably be best used with a finger I mean it is there but it's just not as vibrant as that one All right, and that is it for this look. I'm gonna go quickly, tight line, do my waterline, put in a little bit of liner and then my lashes, and that'll be it for this first look. I love the colors, the blues and the greens, so beautiful. I love this gradient. Okay, I'm gonna go finish this up. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is it for the finished look. Do you guys like it? <laughs> I really love the colors. I love how vibrant they are, and that pastel blue is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> kind of went a little bit out of my comfort zone today with kind of mixing the cooler and warmer tones in this sort of form anyway. Usually I kind of don't mix shades this way <laughs> but I wanted to try something new so I did and I really like it. In total I used eight shades out of the entire palette which is actually quite a few for one eye look <laughs> and they all performed really well especially the mattes i think the mattes are so vibrant and so pigmented and so blendable it's an easy palette to work with and considering it is beauty bay i didn't expect anything less <laughs> i definitely want to do some more looks with this like i feel like you can get some pretty neutrals out of this i also really want to do that blue look which i mentioned this color with this color with like this down the center or something oh. I think that looks so pretty. If you guys want me to do that, please leave a thumbs up on the video so I know and I'll definitely film that. I'll probably film it anyway, but I wanna know if you guys wanna see that because I think it'll look really pretty. <laughs> I might do a video with like three soft looks using this and then maybe three bright looks. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see as well because you've got a good range in here. You've got some really bright colors, really vibrant pigmented colors, and then you've also got these softer colors, a little bit more earthy, some warm tones. So yeah, I can definitely throw down 
some looks with this, you know. <laughs> One thing I will say, because I've been using the actual mirrors in this, I'm surprised that I actually like the packaging and I like the two different mirrors. I did find that the magnified one did come in handy. But one thing I do have to note, I've had the mirrors open and now that I've closed the palette, there's a little bit of the slither that kind of shows the shadows through. So I feel like if you're not careful and you keep opening the mirrors as the actual binding gets a bit worn, it's just kind of pulling the doors apart slightly. So there is risk in the shadows getting slightly damaged if you're not careful. I'm probably going to keep this in the box just to make sure that it is safe, but it is something to note and I don't know if they thought about that with the packaging, but even like when I'm trying to push it back together, it's still leaving like a slight slither of the shadows exposed. It's a very minor thing but it is something that could be detrimental to the actual safety of the shadow so something also to note. Even though the Mitchell palette is kind of big and clunky at least I know my shadows aren't gonna you know potentially get anything stuck in between and things you know. I don't know it's just something that's kind of annoying me a little. <laughs> Apart from that quality of the shadows is amazing. Pigmentation, blendability, everything like that. Not a lot of kick up in the pan. Even with like the bright yellow, there wasn't that much kick up. They're just very well made. The shimmers are nice. Obviously, I didn't get to use a lot of them in this look. I'm gonna use more in a future video. I wish that in a corner color was a little bit more vibrant, but I didn't try dampening it. I may actually do that now. Should I do it now? Yeah, let's just do it now. <laughs> let's just try it with a little bit of fix plus see so it's gonna oh yeah <laughs> that's so much better just brings out the reflect you know it's still not crazy you may be able to see a before and after so this is quite blinding this one's very subdued and not really there i have a feeling the other shimmers are going to be better though just the way they reflect in the pan they appear that they're going to be more reflective than that one i feel like that's kind of the disappointment <laughs> but it's the lightest in the palette so I wanted to use that on my inner corner. One other thing is that there isn't like a lot of depth but the pigment on these shadows is really good so hopefully people with darker skin tones can still utilize this palette. Darker shades in the palette is pretty much Amsterdam and Slasher and 5am. The rest are kind of mid to light. I guess they're brights as well. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I think I went through every point I could. We shall see when I'm editing this. <laughs> I'm really excited to do more looks with this, so make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notified of my future videos when I play around with this and also other makeup bits that I have picked up, even though I said I was doing a no-buy. <laughs> That lasted all of 10 seconds. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope to see you on the next one. And until then, I shall see you. Bye guys.